Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down Bale Beach City's gym leader, and we obtained the Tide Badge. Today, we're going to make our way out of Bale Beach City. And as you guys can see, it is nighttime, as I am going to be taking care of some of the tips that you guys have left me. Once again, thank you so much for all the support you guys have shown me. It means the world to me. And all of a sudden, everything is shaking. What's going on here? Rodri, there's been an emergency. Look there, over the ocean. There's been another explosion at the nuclear power plant. After 10 years, again? I can't believe it. I have to go to the island immediately. People are in danger. This time, I'm gonna make a difference for you Lucille and everyone else. Rodri, you need to get out of here. This area is dangerous. Waves of radiation will be hitting the shore any minute now. Here, I want you to have this. We obtained the BB ferry ticket. To the west, there is a ferry. It will take you across the lake to safety. I don't know much about Pokemon training, but I think there's a gym there too. I can't talk any longer. I need to go. Be safe. Thank you, Kellen. He's gave us a ticket, and now we need to make our way to the other ferry. So we've already took one of the ships around here to the nuclear plant Epsilon, and it looks like things aren't going right over there in the plant. We were there earlier, and it seemed like things were all right, but maybe something happened since we left. So let's go ahead and make our way back through Route 7. Hey, what's wrong with this Pokemon? My capture styler doesn't work on it. Help! Here we go, guys. We're going to jump into a battle, and it's a nuclear Pokemon. How the heck did a nuclear Tancoon make it all the way over here? I have no idea what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, but we are going to do our thing here. Tancoon is level 25. As I told you guys, the nuclear Pokemon are very, very strong. They're also glass cannons. So there we have it. We hit our fire-type move, and the Tancoon is done. Ugh. Thank you. I don't know what was wrong with that thing. It was a weird color. I thought it was maybe a shiny Pokemon, but it didn't act normal either. And my styler couldn't calm it down at all. It was really trying to attack me. I've never seen a Pokemon do that. I owe you one, kid, but you should be careful. I think there might be more of these things out there. Oh, no. There are more of these things out here? We got to watch out then, ladies and gents, as we continue back through Route 7. Now I have to find where exactly that fairy was. Pretty sure it was all the way across the bridge. We just got attacked by two nuclear Pokemon. So here we go, guys. We're going to be jumping into a battle against Corsola? That's two nuclear Corsola here we're going up against. Let's see what our Pokemon can do. We're at a bit of a disadvantage here today, ladies and gents. But we're going to go at it regardless of anything. We're going to try our best. And I told you guys earlier... That my doubles battles teams usually consisted of a ground type and a flying type. So check it out. We got Iroh and Fox here. And that's pretty much the combination I've been talking about. It's really, really good. I've used it plenty of times before throughout my adventures. And I recommend it to you guys. Yesterday, I asked you what you thought was the strongest water type Pokemon. I got some very interesting responses. And I'd have to say I agreed with a lot of you guys as well. One of the ones that was suggested the most was Ash Greninja. Ash Greninja is crazy. I've had the chance to use one before during my adventures, and it is a really, really strong Pokemon. I have no idea how it turns into Ash Greninja. I didn't watch that anime. I didn't watch that season of it, but I thought it was really, really cool. Oh, thank you, Otis. You're okay. Saw those Pokemon jump out of you. Never seen wild Pokemon act like that. It's almost like they're attacking humans on purpose. Stick with me. I'll keep you safe. The Ranger has joined us. We've had trainers join us along the adventure, so let's continue going. Whoa! What was that? I don't know, man, but it doesn't sound good. Holy shinks! I'm out of here! Where you going, bro? I thought you were with us. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Nuclear Gyarados. Whoa, I just got a little pit in my stomach here. I was not expecting to see that. And I really don't know how we're going to take this thing down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do against a nuclear Gyarados, my goodness. 
I'm gonna open up the scratch then and that does not do a whole lot the scratch is super effective but it's not doing as much as I would like let's see how much the flame wheel is gonna do to this Pokemon I don't expect it to do a whole lot but I'm gonna shoot my shot here the thrash is gonna be coming out Ooh, that's doing a little bit ladies and gentlemen that's doing a little bit as long as gear dose doesn't use a nuclear type move we might be okay here here comes another thrash though and you guys know thrash does so much damage we got hit with the crit here I will be switching out let's go ahead and get Fox out here let's see if Fox can take down the level 28 nuclear gear it does I wasn't expecting all of these battles these are some crazy battles against the nuclear Pokemon. Lucky for us, we did take the Gyarados down. We're moving on through. Where did our friend go, though? Oh, now you're back, huh? Oh, sorry, I ran away. Never been so scared. I mean, did you see the size of that thing? Those blank, soulless eyes? Jeez, just thinking about it now makes me shiver. Besides, I saw you handle those other Pokemon back on the bridge. You're clearly a very capable trainer. Call it a hunch, but I bet that the radiation of the power plants will cause those Pokemon to go crazy and attack. Anyway, looks like this area is secure for now. The boat that Kellen said you should take is just over there. Take care, Rodri. Be safe. That's it? That, that's all he did for us? Are you kidding me? He didn't do a whole lot to help us out here, ladies and gentlemen. But we have officially made it to the cruise ship. This is the ferry to Vinoville Town. What's up, everybody? Give your tickets to the sailor by my side. He will give you all the information you need. Welcome to the Tando Luxury Cruise. Is that a cruise ticket? Well, welcome aboard. And there we have it. Welcome to the Tando Luxury Cruise. I know you're probably worried about the crisis at the nuclear power plant, but here you can relax. You may take a nap in your own personal room or you may explore the boat. Many of their passengers and Pokemon trainers like you. I'm sure they'll be interested in you to battle. The ferry left the harbor, and we are off, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to explore the ferry. Now, as the guy just said, there's going to be a lot of trainers here for us to battle. So let's go ahead and start jumping right in. So far so good there on the first trainer battle, let's go ahead and jump into the second one. These battles aren't too difficult, so we should be able to push through them quite quickly. Let's make our way to the next room then. Hey, check it out, a Nurse Joy's over here! Hey, Nurse Joy, can you heal up my Pokémon? She said, I have to get off this boat once it stops. There might be people who are injured from the crisis at the power plant. If only I could be as speedy as this Quick Claw. Does me no good, though. So why don't you have it? Sweet, we got ourselves a Quick Claw, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, thanks so much, Nurse Joy. Now, where the heck exactly can I heal up? So I really need to heal up before we jump into the next battle. So let's see if we can find where our little area is. Is it going to be one of these over here? That, that, nope, that is some old lady's place that we accidentally bumped into it. My bad old lady, that's not what we're trying to do. And look, it's Theo. Oh, no, man, I don't have my Pokemon healed up, bro. It's you. I mean, duh, of course you'd be here. The next gym's this way, isn't it? I beat Callie. It was hard, but my Pokemon tried their best. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So are we just, like, sharing a place, dude? Or, uh, you know, you got your own spot? I guess this is his own place. Good for him. He's out here chilling, relaxing. Where is my spot? You know what I'm talking about? They were talking that I got my own little place. I got my own little thing going on. So where exactly is my little place? Oh, oh hello there, little trainer. I'm the captain of the ship, uh, but I'm seasick and we're not even on the ocean. What to do, what to do? I heard of back rubs help. Do an old chap a favor, would ya? Sure.
Oh, that's so much better. Well, you wanted some? I don't got nothing for you. Scram! Are you serious? We helped him out and he's not even gonna give us anything? All right, Cap. I see how it is, Captain of the Ship. I see how it's going to be. Now, we're gonna have to figure out where exactly I can rest, ladies and gentlemen, because it's been a little bit tough out here. I thought our girl Nurse Joy was gonna help us out, but no. There we go, I finally found the bed. They could have told us it was all the way at the end of the hallway. Help him ban out out here. We got a lot of Pokemon battles to take on. Finally, we're healed up, and now we're gonna be good to proceed on with the rest of these battles. That's another room cleared. Now let's go ahead into this one then. We're doing pretty good out here, guys. I'm feeling pretty good during these battles. We took that one down, so let's go ahead and make our way into the old lady's room. She's probably gonna be a little mad we're in here. Hey, what's up? Hello, dear. I was a trainer once. Oh, what a lovely time and I'm old. Crouchy, I have no use for this TM. We got TM32 double team. Yo, thank you. We will take that. I don't think I'm gonna use it a whole lot, but we will take that. Now let's go into the final room, which is going to be Theo's, and let's see what our friend has to say. Roger, this is dumb, but I'm sort of scared. Wait, no, I didn't say that. I'm never scared. I want to be the best trainer ever. Still, Dad, I... Daddy's strong. He's got strong Pokemon. Your dad's a ranger, right? He'll help everyone. He ain't better. I mean, uh, you just want to battle. Yeah, sure, bro. That sounds better than this conversation we're having right now. I don't care about what happened at the power plant. Right now, all I care about is beating you. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Theo. We're going to jump into our next rival battle. Rival Theo would like to battle. He's going to open up with an Avidin. Let's see what we can do here. He's got an Avidin level 26. We have three Pokemon ready to go up against him. And I'm going to open up with the Flame Wheel. Looks like Theo's a little bit nervous. So we're going to have to calm him down. Through beating him in a Pokemon battle. You know how it is out here. That's what we got to do. Next is going to be a Sablu. Let's keep it up. We got the Sablu. The Sablu. That's what you guys told me. It's apparently a French name. So it's Sablu. You know what I'm saying? It's not Sablu. It's Sablu. You know what I'm saying, guys? And just like that, Iroh is down. We're doing our thing. Sablu took us down. Let's send out Fox out here against Sablu. Let's see what Sablack can do. I'm going to hit everything I can here, ladies and gentlemen. I got the Air Slash ready for us. You already know how it's going to be with the Air Slash. And Sablack is, is down. Now, let's see who's going to be coming out next. It's going to be a Spritzy. And I'm feeling pretty good here going up against a Spritzy. I'm going to drop that Flame Burst on this little Spritzy. See how much it'll do to it. Oh, that was some good damage. Let's go again then. And the Spritzy. It's gonna go down. Theo, you're not looking so hot in this battle, man. Not looking so hot at all. Luna Pup, you guys gotta remember, we also have a really, really, really strong advantage on him. Every time we battle him, we whoop him. Our flying type moves are very strong against this whole team. So let's keep on going with that. The Luna Pup is down as well. We're gonna KO his whole team with Fox out here. And last but not least, it's gonna be Metal Lynx, which is the evolution of his original Pokemon. Metal Lynx looks very, very cool. I like it a lot. The tail is metal. Pretty cool combination. Now the downside to the Metal Lynx is that we're gonna have a huge advantage here with the Flame Burst. This is gonna be like a times four, so I don't expect it to survive anything. Metal Lynx is down, and we are moving on through. Fox gained some XP. We grew to level 33. We defeated our rival Theo. No, it's not fair! We got 1960 for winning. Huh. It's just... I just thought... Dad's in trouble. I can't even win a battle even though I tried my hardest. Just leave me alone! I don't want to talk. Just leave me alone. Well, it looks like our boy Theo doesn't want to talk at all, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready to disembark? Would you look at that? We made it. Yeah, we're ready. He said we hoped you enjoyed your stay. Ding dong! The Tandor Luxury Cruise has arrived at its destination on Route 8, the Wheat Fields. Feel free to take your time getting off. Thank you and please come again. 
we've made it to Route 8. A brand new adventure is in front of us. Route 8 is the wheat fields and we're still headed to Vinoville Town. So let's see if we can find which way to Vinoville it is. We got a miracle seed. Thank you so much. Look at you being all nice. Now I am going to explore the wheat fields. Sounds very nice. It sounds very, very peaceful here. And there also seems to be a lot going on. Couple different places for us to go. And we have a battle. Cool, so we're gonna have some trainers to take on. Let's get all these berries over here. They're corn berries. This is a very peaceful route. The music is so nice, so relaxing. Makes me just want to have a nice stroll through here in the night. Now let's get this last corn berry. We are going to have a couple battles, so I'm feeling pretty good with them. Let's keep them going. As you guys know from the other routes, there's always a bunch of different ways for us to go. So there's not just a certain path you can pick, you can loop around all over. We got TM28 Dig! That's awesome! Glass Slug. That was a pretty cool Pokemon. So we didn't get anything off of this Fisherman. There are a couple different ways for us to go here to the left. So before I go to the left, I'm going to go back down and explore the other area. I saw another staircase there, so there's got to be something here, right? Oh, would you look at that too? There's another trainer over there. They have so many trainers here in the wheat fields. So many people are out here working, tending to it. And whoa, check this place out. Didn't know there was going to be a little house over here. We might as well head inside, say hello to everyone. What's up, everybody over here in the house? You poor trainer, you must be tired. We actually are really tired. Thank you so much. I needed to heal up my Pokemon. Two of them were completely knocked out. Have a safe trip, dearie. You can use the computer on there. Dang, check her out. She even has herself a computer. What a lady, what a night. Good for her. They got a Mareep over here. That's pretty cool. A couple more wheat fields, and we got ourselves an Ultra Ball as well. I'll gladly take that. Let's talk to this fisherman. Oi, Spot! You look like you're the kind type to fish. I see that gleam in your eye right there. That gleam, that hope. Seem to like that kind of person who's ready to sit and wait for hours for something. We got ourselves the good rod! Yo, there we have it, guys. Awesome! We got the good rod. We are ready to continue through then. And check it out, check it out! A Cottony. That's going to be the Pokemon out here. And I like it. I like it. So there's going to be a lot of Pokemon to run around to catch. Do your thing with. Around here, most of us folk were on fire hard working and feed off our Tandor. I feel you, bro. I, I understand that. It must be hard working here off the land. I can only imagine how difficult it is to be a farmer, honestly. Growing everything. It must take a lot out of you. Once I was a trainer, some renowned number of tech and Pokemon I enjoyed quite life. That's cool. Good for you. Good to know. So let's keep on going. We are going to have more battles coming up. You already know how it's going to be. We got ourselves a little Chesto Berry. I will gladly take it. See what else we got. We got ourselves a little Alum Berry. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Last but not least, we got ourselves a battle. Took down the farmer. Let's see what this last plant's gonna be. Two rhino berries. Yeah, I'll take all the berries we can get. They've been pretty handy so far. So we can go down -er to the left. This is so confusing. I have no idea where I'm going half the time. You guys know this is a blind let's play. So I'm kind of just going through it as you guys are. Do 
guys hear what this girl said? There's some UFOs around here. If there are some UFOs around here, that's gonna be pretty terrifying. Gotta tell you guys that, because I, I don't even know where we're going, so they're throwing UFOs into the mix. Things are about to get a little wild out here. We got ourselves TM44 rest. It's a great TM. There's another little house here. Maybe we can rest up. Hey, what's up? Can I rest up over here? Oh, you're a trainer, aren't you? Listen, are you interested in mysteries? I need some help and I need a trainer to do it. Sure, great. My name's Ripley. My grandfather owns all the fields you see around you, but he's traveling abroad and left me to manage the farm. Lately though, we've been having strange phenomena. I'll fall asleep at night and when I go I go check the fields in the morning, half my crops are bent over. Not only that, but seen from above there are no sorts of weird shapes and patterns. I can't figure it out at all. I think it might be... ALIENS! I've tried staying up at night to catch them in the act, but I keep falling asleep. I know there's something out there, whatever it is, it moves too fast for me to get a good picture. So that's why I need your help. I need to sneak through the fields and find the source of the crop circles. I always see a bright light on the other side of the lake, so maybe that's where they're coming from. Be careful not to let them see you though. Whoa, we made it to the other side of the lake. And there are some Pokemon running around here. So they want us to make it to the other side of the lake? Or do they just want me to bump into these dudes? Or what's up? Should I just... I can't even talk to these things that are flying around. What's up, little things? They, they're not even looking at me. Like, they don't even care about me, dude. Oh, wait. Here we go. I've been spotted. They all flee... What? Okay, here we go. Oh, so I really can't be spotted. This is pretty cool. It's like a little fun mini game for us to play. Reminds you a little bit of Majora's Mask. If you guys have ever played through Majora's Mask, you can't be spotted by the guards. And now we can't be spotted by these guys. This is awesome. I like little mini games like this in Pokemon. I feel like they should add in more stuff like this in Pokemon. I'm a firm believer in adding Pokemon to the Pokemon games for puzzles. Repels effect wore off. Yeah, I'm definitely using another. Where's that one hiding? That one's the one that keeps catching me every time. I got this. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, oh no, they caught me again. Mother fudger. This might take a little bit out here, guys. This might take a little bit, man. I didn't realize how serious these UFOs took their job here. They're not letting me through at all. Come on, UFOs. Let a man through out here, UFO. There we go, UFO, baby, UFO. There we go. All right, UFO. I see this thing over here looking at me. Hey, it didn't catch me that time, baby. It didn't catch me that time. What is that? Holy crap. That looks like it's leader. It seems to be giving them orders. We've been spotted, but it doesn't look like it's gonna flee. It's attacking. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus S51A. We're gonna be battling a UFO. <laughs> this is awesome. Can I throw a Pokeball at this thing? I can throw a Pokeball at S51A. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, you can't catch this Pokemon. Oh, okay. So I can't catch S51A. He is a boss battle. Let's see what we can do here against S51A, the UFO. This is so cool. It's a UFO boss battle. I'm loving this. This has to be one of the coolest things added to Pokemon Uranium. I'm loving this. All right, let's go for one more Flame Wheel. That's a really cool looking Pokemon as well. So there we have it, guys. We took down S51A. Mm. So that's what it was causing, you know? Pokemon, but that doesn't explain why it was attacking. It's easy, really. It's because I was bored. Is this your Pokemon? Who are you? <laughs> You've lived here your whole life, Ripley. Shouldn't you know me by now? Sheldon, I can't believe you're doing this again. <laughs> Isn't it obvious this town sucks? Everybody's so content with their boring little lives. They don't know what real excitement is. If I have to stay holed up in the gym for much longer, I'll die. I don't think it's very funny, and you shouldn't take it out on my granddad's farm. Well, that just goes to show you country people have no sense of humor. Now, I know you're a lousy trainer, so it can't have been you that defeated S51A. So then, who was it that kid? Rodri. 
Rodri, huh? You must be a good trainer. S51A is my strongest Pokemon. I don't even use her to fight challenges in my gym. You're in the area, so I assume you must be here to challenge my gym, right? I'm looking forward to it. S51A, take us out of here. Oh, he always does this. He doesn't make it a secret that he hates this whole town, but he's stuck out here out of obligation to his family. I just wish he'd leave us alone. Anyway, thanks for your help. I get it now. He had his Pokemon order the wild S51 around. You did manage to catch one, didn't you? Hey, they're pretty rare. If you didn't catch any, I managed to get one. But I'm not really much of a trainer. So would you like it? Yes, we would. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We obtained S51. And we are going to be giving S51 a nickname. We're going to call S51 E.T. So I'd like you to welcome E.T. to the team. We got ourselves E.T. the S51. And this was a suggestion from you guys. So thank you so much for helping me find this little side quest. I wouldn't have found it without you guys. Now we have a psychic steel type Pokemon on our team. The little UFO Pokemon. And that's going to be super fun. I'm really, really pumped to be using this Pokemon on our team. I think it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time getting to use all these different Pokemon that we are finding here in Pokemon Uranium. We got ourselves a Great Ball as well. And it looks like we've made it to the gate to Vinoville Town. So let's go ahead and make our way on over there as I do want to heal up our Pokemon and take care of a couple more things. We've made it to Vinoville Town, a nostalgic paradise. And it really is a bit nostalgic. You guys can hear the music. That's a sound we've heard before. That's a song that is familiar to all of us. And we got ourselves some coconut milk. We've had some coconut milk before. We'll take it again. We've made it to Vinoville Town, ladies and gentlemen, so next time we will be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. We now have S51 ET added to our team. Next time we'll continue from here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Uranium. Goodbye!